brake fluid reservoir, red arrow, sits on top of the master cylinder, yellow arrow. This area should be bone dry, and if you find any brake fluid around here, you must replace the reservoir and the grommets right away. You want to remove as much fluid from the reservoir as you can before removing the reservoir. Use a suction pump or a turkey baster to remove as much fluid as possible. And while you may get a lot out, you will not get it all, so be prepared to catch and dispose of any extra fluid. Brake fluid is also deadly to the paint on a vehicle, so take every precaution not to get any on your paint. And if you do, flush the area with water and blot it up. Do not wipe. The red arrows indicate the fluid level sensors built into the reservoir. And while they share the same fluid, one checks the level for the front and the other for the rear brakes. Unplug the wire connections as indicated by the red arrows. The reservoir sits in two rubber grommets in the master cylinder and is only held in place by friction. Place a catch tray close so that you can put the reservoir in it as soon as you get it out of the master. Then pull up while wiggling and the reservoir should separate. If it does not, you can gently insert a flathead screwdriver and gently pry up from beneath the reservoir and the master cylinder as indicated by the red arrow. Always replace the two rubber grommets that connect the master to the reservoir. Red arrows. Installation is the reverse of the removal, and now you must bleed the brake system before driving the vehicle. Please see the link at the end of this video on how to bleed your brakes, including using a motive power bleeder to help simplify the process. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.